Okay. Here we have today, which I bought. I had a bit of problems with a timer that went off in a, um, uh, a facility where this particular timer was controlling contactors. And the screen here, this screen here, was just completely blank. And it totally dumbfounded me because I didn't know what was going on, even though I pressed all these buttons down here trying to figure out what was going on. Eventually, I found out that inside one of these units, and this is a Hager EG203E, and it wasn't a Hager brand. This was a different type of brand, like a Chinese brand or a Spanish brand. I forget what it was called. I think it was Obis or something like that. But anyhow, at the end of the day, inside these units, there's a lithium battery. Now, when you buy it, you're, not, you're unaware of it, but it lasts for only, well, this one lasts for five years, well, so they say it lasts, but this one was gone and hence knocked out all the clocks. So I had to purchase this one. Now, uh, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to try and show you, well, I am going to show you where I rigged up this system just to show you um, how to time it, because the instructions on how to time one of these is just a complete pain in the ass. Now, excuse the wiring, because it's really makeshift home sort of wiring just to make sure that it was working and these cables here these ones here are just follow the schematic drawing that they supply you with uh, and the rest will become apparent the schematic is dead easy to follow so don't worry about that so we'll begin um, as you can see there's a plastic lid on this thing and it's all powered up uh, what I'll do is I'm gonna show you here this section here where the pencil is coming in, right here, afterwards. But there is a little diagram on the side, it's just I have the camera set up that I don't want to move it. Uh, where you'll see one is neutral and uh, five is your power. So that's your feed in, your neutral feed in, and your power feed in. And I know you're going to kill me. You might say, what's going on here? He's got an earth coming out. That's only temporary. I was looking for a cable. I didn't have anything, so I stuck an earth in there. And it's just looped around. But what's up here? Don't worry about it at the moment. If you're an electrician, you'll understand straight, straight away what it is. But it's, it's just two one-way switches, you know? Uh, so here we go. So now, as I said, I just came around the other side to show you those getting close to you. Those switches A and B, oh, they're upside down, but you'll see what I mean. You see what I'm talking about there? A is one switch, B is the other. So now you'll understand when, you, when on, the, on the LCD uh, display, when it goes A, B, now you know that when you click on A, you're actually operating four, six, and, I think it's four, six, and eight. Yeah, there you go. And one and two are the, um, you know, live in, live out. Okay, that's about it. Here we go. So, um, I'm going to start from scratch. I'm just going to bring this up here, lid, and you see this button here, which are the arrows on, and OK, and menu. I'm going to put this right across all three of them and press down. Now watch the screen. See the way the screen went blank? See, it's gone blank. It's actually resetting everything that was programmed on this, on this unit. All right, so now there's absolutely nothing on this unit. That's what we're going to set right now. So the first thing you do is you press uh, the menu button, right? And see the way it says, and hopefully you'll pick it up, a program is flashing here. Right. We'll press the menu again, and you'll see it scrolls right across to another icon, and a clock icon, and another icon. We'll just leave it on the program. Press OK. Now, it, it is, now the next button will open up. It'll say A or B. A and B symbolizes the two one-way switches that you can use this unit for. It's like a two-pole switch type of thing. So we're going to go A. Press OK, and you see 56 come up. Now, the numeral 1 means Monday. The numeral 2 will mean Tuesday, 3, Wednesday, 4, Thursday, and so on right throughout the week. So once you get to 1, you press OK, 
right? And this is Tuesday, okay. Thursday, okay. Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right through. The particular setup that I'm setting here is a seven day. I want these car park lights to come on for seven days at a particular time and go off at a particular time. So I'm doing seven days. But if you just want it Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and skip Thursday, well, you would leave the four blank. You know what I mean? You just skip it. We'll keep on going through. Now that's my seven day week. And you'll see the small little button there, you see a flash, it'll say OK. Once it says OK, press OK. Now, the next step is on the side here, you'll see on, off, and pulse. That little symbol is pulse. When on is flashing, you just set the time for the on of when you want the actual uh, unit to start working, whatever you want it to have working. Could be a set of contactors or it could be working directly from this unit. So, um, here we go. So it's the time you set the hour first. So we're going to, I'm going to set this for five o'clock. Oh no, it comes on. I'm going to say I want it to come on at seven o'clock in the evening. Uh, seven o'clock. I don't want to have any minutes. And that's on, right? And you'll see up here it says OK. Just press OK again. Now, on the left-hand side, it'll say, set it to the off position. So once again, press OK. And I want it off. It'll go backwards because I want it at 5 o'clock in the morning to go off. There it is at 5. Press OK. Press the minutes because I just want 5. OK. And then finally, it's right across the seven days, because I set it for seven days, I'm going to press OK. So there you go. Now, if you want to have a look at this afterwards to see if it's actually set correctly, go back to your normal display, press Menu, go to the second, the second switch here, right? the second icon, I should say. right? So press Menu again, press OK. Because we set the A, remember I said at the very beginning of this, we set the A switch, not the B switch. And press OK. And you'll see, there you go. It's off at 5 o'clock in the morning on Monday, which is M, or which is the 1. And it comes on at 7. And you can see it's going on, off, on, off. See? It's going right through the whole week there. Hopefully you're picking this up because here on the set on the left it's saying on off on off and then the two up here symbolizes the day and on off on off right throughout the week so that is telling you that I've set the whole unit okay okay now there is a key here which I program I just set this up just to show you guys how to use it but there is a key here that when you set it up in your program your programs on the actual switch on the relay, you can sit, put this key into this slot here, push it down, and it'll become very apparent what you have to do because the key or the program here will tell you what to do. It'll see either save or load. Save meaning obviously save the program that you just programmed onto the unit onto the key, or if there is a, if you've done a series of these relays and um, you just want to have it all around and you know, let's say you've got 10 relays and you just want one time to suit all 10 relays um, the, the digital um, the digital switch you can just plug in this down this little slot here uh, sugar that's it there you push it down and if I push that down it's going to program this all again I won't do it now but if you press that down and just follow it. It'll say load or save. Obviously, with, if it's if it's loaded with information, you press OK for load, and it loads it up and resets it all. There's actually another type of switch, another type of um, key, which is uh, it's a yellow format key, which is it protects it. So it's a lock key. So when you press the actual, when you put the key in and you push it in and you follow it, it'll lock it automatically and no one will be able to tamper with any of the controls, which is a very good idea when you have handyman coming along after you who don't know too much about electrics, but they know how to press buttons, and when they press buttons, they, they don't realize that those um, settings might be to bring in some home automations, like open your front gate, close your front gate, 
uh, and obviously you don't want that happening. So um, that concludes really it. I'm going to just quickly show you around the, around the sides here on the top and um, hopefully this helps you out because it was a pain to get to this step from the instructions. One more note. If you live in Australia, this particular system here, and I'll go back to the menu, has a, a time clock here. See this time clock here? Right there, there's a time clock. Click to that. Right, you press OK. Right, set the date, the time, and everything like that. Right, which I've already done previous. Boom. 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 I've done the time, I've already done this time, so it's OK. Now, when it says user, right, click through, that's on user. See, this says no, Euro, USA, 68, Australia. Don't click, if you're in Australia, don't click on the Australia thinking that that's going to set it at the summer time, summer or winter time, because these um, were manufactured in, I presume it was France. I'm not sure where Hager is. Is it France or Germany? Uh, could be wrong. I think it's I think it's France. And our daylight savings are different to where it was programmed in the in the factory, right? So uh, daylight savings here is it's the third of October, um, and the fourth of G uh, the fourth of March. Wait, March, January, February, March, April. No, 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 4th of April. So it's the 3rd of October and the 4th of April is where you want to set it. And that means that forget about when you're on the Australian blinking thing. Don't do that. Come to user and go through the settings to set it up independently for that particular, those dates. Okay? Um, and make sure of that because that's a must. Okay. Uh, that's about it.